Hi everyone, I'm on my way to a place in the northwest province of South Africa called Mount Amanzi. Mount referring to mountain and the Zulu word Amanzi meaning water. So we know there will be a mountain and there will be water. This time I'm driving a loner, the Suzuki Grand Vitara 2.4 petrol. I am on the N1 North and will be joining the N4 shortly. For those not familiar with South Africa, the N1 highway runs across the length of South Africa from Cape Town in the south to the Baitbridge border post in the north, bordering Zimbabwe. The N4 highway on the other hand runs over the breadth of the northern part of South Africa from the Limbombu border post in the east bordering Mozambique to the Skulpatnek border post in the west bordering Botswana. But today I won't be going that far. I'm going to the bottom end of the Hot Piaspur Dam, just below the dam wall. A severe thunderstorm hit just as I started driving, making visibility a real challenge. I have a narrow window to book in at Mount Amanzi, so I cannot sit and wait the storm out. I just have to push on, even if it's at a slower pace. After about two hours, I drive into Mount Amanzi. have made the cutoff time with about 15 minutes to spare and the storm has passed as well. With a little hoop jumping I have the keys in hand and I'm on my way to the chalet. If I look at the clouds, it might have stopped raining, but it looks far from finished. I'm going to make a fire and have a nice braai. The chalet looks pretty much the same as all the others. Nice bed, nice kitchen bathroom with a bath shower combination that I don't like and an upstairs room with three single beds for kids. What impressed me is the two air conditioners one for the top room and one for the bottom. Generally these places have only one air conditioner per unit. Mm -hmm. 
Let me get the fire going. I have a nice built-in braai wood. I hear some frogs and water running. Let's switch the camera to night vision and see if we can find the noisemakers. I have to be very quiet here. The frogs will stop croaking if I make a noise and that will make it near to impossible to find them. Looks like they've heard me. They've stopped. I can't see any eyes reflecting. Okay. Well, guess better luck next time. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday morning. It has been raining since the early hours of this morning. And it is still going. Now South Africa is a water scarce country. So we are very grateful for the rain. We know the farmers need the water. And I don't have a good track record with electronic devices and water. So I'm going to stay out of the wet with my camera. I know of a little restaurant just around the corner. I think I'll have a drive there and see whether they are open. So I'm off to Tant Marley's restaurant. The place looks very quiet, too quiet. Oh, it's closed. Well, we are still under COVID restrictions, I guess. The rain continued the entire Saturday, putting a limit on the footage for the day. I spend my time looking at the pitter-patter of the rain. Until tomorrow, good night. Good morning everyone. It is Sunday morning and the rain has stopped. Time to go out and show you this place. Hi everyone, I'm at Mount Amunzi and yes, I'm not driving my own car, I've got a loaner, a Suzuki Grand Vitara, what a vehicle, one day I will do a complete review on that, but first let's go and see what this place has to offer, 
we've had enormous amount of rain so this is the only dry spot we've had so let's go and see what there is to see Once again, lots of the normal activities available here has been stopped due to the restrictions. I want to go down to the river I can actually hear the water from here this is the Hartpierspoort dam wall Planning started in 1906 with a whole lot of delays and one construction company going bankrupt. The second construction company completed the wall in 1923. The dam first overflowed in March 1925. Standing here looking up, it's almost scary to think how much water is behind that wall. I'm sure I saw a fish jump in the water. Indeed, look at that, they try and swim upstream, amazing. I don't know the purpose of this water feature other than making the fish jump. Maybe there is some water expert that can comment on the purpose of this water feature. Sitting watching the monkeys play on the grass brings my weekend to a close. Time to go home. All the links are in this description below. Please write your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.